Hi, everybody. My name is Mike Peterson. I'm a senior art director and motion lead for a content creation company. And this tutorial is about um, issues that people have been having where they would save a JPEG file from Photoshop and it would come out at an enormously large size. It's something that's happened to me a few times in the past and it just happened to me the other day. So I decided to take the time and figure out how to fix this. There, you'll, if you look in the Adobe forums, you'll see a few posts, but they're, they're not really clear on how to do it. There's links to uh, some resources, but it took me a while to figure it out. So I'm putting this video together just to make it quick and easy for you to resolve this. So the first thing you need is this line of code. It's, uh, it's a document called delete document ancestors metadata.jsx. I'll include a link to this code where you can create the JSX file and you just save it on your desktop. So first I'll demo what happens when I go to save this as a JPEG. So I'll go save as and then save a copy and then I will select JPEG. Hit save. Now watch how long this takes. Watch how long this takes for the window to come up. So JPEG options comes out. It takes a few seconds for it to come up. So I'll click OK. And then if you look up here, you'll see how long it's taken to save. It sh it, the, I mean, I set it at 7% and it's taken forever to save. OK, we're finally done saving. I don't know exactly how long it took, but uh, it took probably like 15, 20 seconds. So here is the JPEG file. And as you can see, it is 80 megabytes. This Photoshop file is, it's only like 1920 by 1080. And it's just got a fill layer in here. It should not be this large. So after doing all this research and getting the script, I finally learned how to fix it. So what you do is you go into the file menu and then you go to scripts, scripts event, events manager. And you make sure that this enabled thing is on. You go to scripts script and then you drop down this menu go to browse and then i'm just going to browse to my desktop and grab this delete document ancestors metadata and then what you do is under photoshop event so you'll see the name appear in the script drop down menu so you go to the photoshop event and then first you hit open document click add You'll see it pop up in the top window here. And it also has the name of the JSX file. So you go to Photoshop event and then you go save document and then you click add and then it appears here. So I'm going to click done and then I'm going to close my PSD file and reopen it. Reopen it. See, even this PSD file takes a while to open and it doesn't matter if it's 16 bit. Like the, the file that, that was given to me was 16 bit. So what I think is happening is because this delete, this open document event is here, is, is enabled, I think it's dumping all the metadata as it opens. And there's also a save document. I don't know why that's here. I don't even know if it's needed, but I, I just did it because the, the blog that I read said so. So I'm gonna click done. Now you see this asterisk here, I didn't do anything. So something happened and the Photoshop file needs to be saved. But I'm not gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try saving a JPEG again. Go save a copy and then select JPEG, save. I'm gonna replace it and it's, see how the quality is set to seven. Now watch how long it takes. See, we're done. So look at it, it's 70 kilobytes. So after I ran that script, I guess it dumped all the metadata and it's fine now. So like I can, if, if I save it and reopen it, it it's, it's not gonna be as bad. Now, here's another thing I'll try. The, the original file size of the PSB file was 112 megabytes. So if I go to save it, Now it's 12 megabytes. I don't even think it should be that big because it's only got a fill layer, but maybe it's because it's 16 bit. 
So that resolved it. Now I should caution you that uh, the the blog that I read, they said that to use this at your own risk, especially if you're not comf if you're not accustomed to working with this this method. So what I did was I went back to scripts and script events manager, which I don't use a lot myself. So just to be safe, I, I selected remove all and cleared that. Now, when I go to save it, this asterisk should disappear. So there, now the asterisk disappears. So I guess the asterisk was, is, was an indication that there's like the script that's running in the background. So you just make sure that you do that. Um, so that's about it. That was how I was able to figure it out. Um, and I really hope it works for you because I spent literally hours trying to, trying to figure this out. Like I spent like time off the docket to resolve this because this job that I was working on the last week, all the PSD files that I was, was working with, they all had the same issues. So once I was able to remove this metadata, it was all fixed and I was able to get my job, job done quickly. Now, if there's anybody here that knows what's going on and can explain this like explain it so that it's easy to understand i'd really love it for you to uh, to put it in the comments and if this worked for you i'd like to hear it in your comments too so that's it thank you very much for your time and uh all the best